My last little high voltage experiment is these guys. It's a Color TV high voltage tripler. I picked up a big box of these from uh, eBay years ago. Uh, just a way of selling that. And uh, my favorite uh, way of pumping these guys is the neon sign transformer. I, I keep the little uh, shorting bar here for safety to make sure it's discharged because while a neon sign transformer you turn it off it's uh, inactive these guys have the capacitors in it and they will hold a little bit of a charge and I don't want to find out what it feels like uh, this is one I was playing with earlier uh, some, some time ago but it's uh, blown I gave it too much power and now it's no more so this is the uh, box from one of these these are pretty common replacement parts so I have the papers in it and a little bit of zenith Silicon rubber sealant. It's uh, probably good for Corona. It still feels juicy. Let's uh, fire this up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the light out. You'll be able to hear it when I plug it in. I don't know if you can hear that or not. You can definitely see it. Now, this one puts out a bit more. A lot more juice, you can really see that. And uh, interestingly, here's some little foam bits that will blow those around just from the, the wind. Well, just the wind coming out, I can feel it on my knuckles. Uh, but it uh, makes some good sparks. This is goes to the uh, ground side of the tripler. these is more thumping because it's not picking up the audio with good fidelity. Woo. Well, the uh, neons are driven through a uh, variac which is only up to about uh, maybe 25 30 percent power so we're not getting the whole nine nine thousand kilovolts nine thousand volts but this uh, one of the reliable producers of high voltage that I have I have a couple of had a couple of induction coils and uh, and an induction coil I picked up at a ham fest, looked like an old, old lab instrument in wood. And some Model T spark coils. I am looking for those. I can't find them. They may have been lost or sold on eBay years ago. I can't remember. Uh, but back in the early 70s, you could actually buy a Model T ignition coil, which were the interrupter type, on, on Sears for like 9 or 10 bucks. I bought one, had a lot of fun with that. And in late 90s, found some at a surplus store that were being used in an old piece of Navy equipment. So I'm still looking for those. Anyway, that's fun with the tripler.